Hi there, and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about a question I get asked a lot, and what about soy products and soybeans uh, and their consumption? Does it affect estrogen? Does it influence cancer? Does it increase the risk for cancer? I get a lot of these questions, especially people who want to join a plant-based diet. So today I'll be talking about why phytoestrogens should form part of a healthy diet for both men and women. Phytoestrogens are compounds that are derived from plants and they mimic estrogen due to their very similar structure. Now foods that are rich in phytoestrogens include soybeans and soy products, uh, seeds of all sorts, um, oats, barley, wheat, rice, as well as legumes which include beans and lentils. Apples and carrots are also rich in phytoestrogens just as well as pomegranates, yams and fennel. And also drinks, beverages such as coffee, beer, whiskey are just some to name a few. So there have been many false assumptions late, lately that say that phytoestrogens have been shown to lower sperm count, sperm motility, and increase the rates of testicular cancers. But a 2010 meta-analysis of 15 placebo studies concluded that neither soya foods nor isoflavonoid supplements alter measures of bioavailable testosterone concentration in men. Studies also noted that supplementation with these phytoestrogens had no effect on sperm concentration count or motility. Now these false assumptions have, have been leading to very much confusion on whether these phytoestrogens are healthy or not for consumption. But actually there is a variety of beneficial effects uh, of consuming phytoestrogens on many of our body systems and also they help and reduce specific types of cancer because they actually influence a different receptor. We now know that we have two types of estrogen receptors in the body. We have an alpha receptor and a beta receptor and unlike actual estrogen which binds and activates the alpha receptor, phytoestrogens from food bind and activate the beta receptor. Now these two types of receptors have totally different and sometimes mostly opposite functions. Beta activation from foods in, uh, uh, rich in phytoestrogens have an anti-estrogenic effect, inhibiting the growth promoting effects of actual estrogen. So therefore these phytoestrogens, even consumed in low quantities, if of one serving a day actually have an anti-proliferative effect on some cancer cells. So let's talk about the benefits of consuming phytoestrogens for both men and women. So number one, they improve bone health. Bone health is a major concern for growing children, athletes, and women during menopause. And phytoestrogens work with vitamin D to support bone health. And according to a study on phytoestrogens and vitamin D, their effect on bone health and menopausal transition is, is significant and it helps prevent bone loss and thereby it helps prevent fractures, bone fractures. They also help prevent specific type of cancer. Um, their role in reversing the symptoms of breast and ovarian cancer has been shown. It's been found that certain hormone related cancers can be treated by adjusting the hormone levels through eating foods that contain phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens have also been uh, studied due to their antioxidant activity and their pro protein building activity, both which make them natural anti-cancer compounds. Now they also help in relieving menopausal symptoms. Many women during menopause or transitioning to menopause use hormone replacement therapy to alleviate the symptoms that typically come with menopause, including hot flashes, mood swings, and depression. And we know that many of these synthetic hormones come with their own set of side effects. Now phytoestrogen consumption is a natural remedy that relieves the symptoms without any side effects. Also, the risk of atherosclerosis and other cardiovascular diseases is significantly in increased after menopause due to the decrease in estrogen levels and phytoestrogens helps because studies show that phytoestrogens possess anti-atherosclerotic -arther effects so they may be used to treat and prevent heart disease. So I hope this dissipates some of your fears regarding the consumption of soya products and other phytoestrogen rich foods. If you like the content please 
give me a like and subscribe to this channel. If you want more information on anything to do with health and a healthy diet, please visit my blog on the website at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.